Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. And today, we're answering your questions. This is like old school YouTube. Answering your questions today. Today's question comes from Instagram. It's from NDC2002. Thank you so much for your question. They say or ask or say, tell us the Hooters story. Well, let me think. I've got so many Hooters stories. No, I don't. I have one Hooters story. And I'll tell it to you right now. So, uh, this story... If you follow this channel, you've probably heard this story at some point, referenced maybe during one of my uh, Road to the Show videos, or uh, I might have a separate video on it. I don't know. Type in Matt Antonelli Hooters and see if it comes up. Hooters, Hooters, Hooters. Um, let's talk about the Hooters story. So when you play in the major leagues, typically rookies are going to go through rookie hazing. Now, different sports, it probably means different things, probably even different teams. Listen, in baseball, like I've... I've I've had friends that have played in other organizations and they all do rookie hazing. It's not bad, okay? Usually, it involves dressing up in something, right? And so you've probably seen it. There's certain games where, you know, maybe it's rookie hazing where they're, they've got to walk, you know, they've got to walk from the pitchers have to go to the bullpen wearing back girly backpacks and all this stuff. Or, you know, maybe it's in the airport. You don't really go to airports in the, in the major leagues, but on the flight, you know, wearing stuff. Well, for... The Padres, what they made us do is they made all the rookies wear Hooters outfits. Um, and you had to wear it on our trip from Colorado to Washington, D.C. So we played the Rockies and then we had a flight to go play against the Nationals. And so after the game in Colorado, it was a day game, after the game... There were Hooters outfits waiting in all of the rookies' lockers in the clubhouse. And so you'd come in and you'd put on your Hooters outfit. Now, uh, for me, wearing the Hooters outfit wasn't embarrassing. Like, for, at least for me, I don't care. Like, it's really short orange shorts and a tight tank top. Like, what do I care? I mean, I, I make, I'm making it sound like I wear that out on the weekends. I don't wear Hooters outfits out on the weekend. But personally, it wasn't that bad. But what they do is you don't just have to wear it. First, it's uncomfortable as all hell. I mean, these are like little tiny, like, I'm, like these aren't, they didn't make, they didn't say, hey, let's see, how big is Matt? He weighs 215 pounds. Okay, let's get him a double XL Hooters outfit. No, no, no. They got a Hooters outfit. Well, I don't think they make double XL Hooters outfits, but they got a Hooters outfit that would fit someone that weighed 100 pounds less than me. Okay. And so it is so uncomfortable. It's like cutting off the circulation of your legs and you just, you're not comfortable in it. Okay. So that's the first thing. And you've got to travel a flight all the way across the country in these things. But then after you put it on, you have to leave the stadium and then you have to go to downtown Denver. So we'd all walk to downtown Denver, which is right there near the stadium. And we had to go into a bar in the bar that, you know, there was a, just a Rockies game on TV. And at the time, yeah, the Rockies probably, well, the Rockies were actually the, the, uh, the year before that, the Rockies were actually really good. So maybe the Rockies were decent that year. We weren't very good. Uh, but you go, you know, the bar's full of people that just watched the game and they've been drinking for a while. And all of a sudden, here come a lot of rookies from the Padres. Well, they don't know it's the Padres at first, but they figure it out because they start saying, what the hell are you guys doing? And so you walk in and you've got your Hooters outfit on and you've got to go up to the bar and you've got to order a drink. And so you go up and you order a drink and everyone, you know, everyone at first is like, oh, a bunch of, well, what the hell is going on over here? And then you, you drink your beer or whatever you order and people start talking to you and then you tell them that, you know, I don't, I'm not just out here. You know, I didn't just come from the field watching it as a fan. I didn't, you know, I don't wear this typically to most bars, but uh, this is part of hazing. And so then people are like, oh, you guys play for the Padres, huh? Like, oh, cool. We've never heard of any of you before, but that's cool that you play for them. And, uh, and so then it's, you know, then it becomes not as awkward, but it is awkward when you first walk in. Now you drink your beer and then you end up leaving. Now you've got to get on a flight and you got to fly all the way across the country in this wicked, uncomfortable 
Hooters outfit. And it's a somewhat of a long flight. And then when you get into D.C., we stayed at, I think we stayed at the Ritz. You, you're always staying at like a Ritz-Carlton or like basically the nicest hotels ever. You get off the team bus and you've got to walk into the hotel in your Hooters outfit. And so again, you walk in and people are like looking at you like, what is going on here? Now, after a few minutes, they realize, okay, this looks like it's some type of team or something. And there's a bunch of them uh, and it's not a Hooters convention. And so then you got to go check into your hotel. It's a little bit embarrassing, but the good thing about it for me, at least, was when I was with the Padres, we were in last place and we called up like everybody. Like we had a lot of rookies called up. So it wasn't just me. Um, there was like, I don't know, 10 of us, it felt like. And it was all my friends. It was all my friends from AAA. And, you know, I played with all those guys for a while because um, we all came up together. And so it could have been a lot worse. Um, but that's the Hooters outfit story. And that's what rookie hazing is like. And so it's all in fun. It's nothing terrible. It's a little uncomfortable. It's a lot uncomfortable wearing it. It's a little uncomfortable people looking at you, but not really. Um, and I actually still have my Hooters outfit. In fact, I'm going to go put it on right now for you. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. That would be horrible. I'd probably get in trouble for that. Um, but that's it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. If you have a question, put it down there. And, uh, and I'll try to answer for you. That's all we have. We'll talk to you later.